when um when I was 12, I uh I saw this movie about this guy who uh he was hit on the head with a brick. He was walking down the street near this old building, and uh, this pigeon knocked this brick off this old building and uh, hit it, hit him right on the head. And when he woke up, he couldn't remember who he was or who he was married to, so he started looking around the city for clues. And on each day, he forgot a little bit more. Like how on Tuesday, he forgot how to tie his shoes, and on Friday, he forgot how to look both ways, and he walked down the middle of the street, and blam! <laughs> he was hit by a car. So he lay in the street, looking up to heaven, crowd of people all around him, and his last words were... Um... I'm sorry, it'll come to me. Let me start over. So, there's this pipe that separates the men's room from the women's room, and... This pipe hangs very low because the people who built the building didn't think it'd be a dressing room. They thought it'd be an office building or something, so there wouldn't be a need for dressing rooms. And I had to use this bathroom, and I heard my cue, and I thought I could make it if I ran. I hit my head right on that pipe. And you know it's real because you can feel the bump right... It'd be a terrible thing to forget who you were. I was born on June 6th, 1993. I can only whistle between my two front toes and my cat just died. It's important for me to remember these things because it helps me forget that in a few hundred years, nobody will remember me. Or at least care to. <laughs> Unless I do something crazy like cure cancer or something. In which case, everybody will remember me. Especially the kids who get a day off to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> this is all hypothetical, of course. In a few hundred years, we'll all be dust or ash or atomic rubble. Just one conglomerate mass of Earth. We'll all be paired off into groups with Shakespeare or Jesus or something. And you know what? It's even worse in my business because my entire job is remembering lines. And if I forget just one, the director will fire me. So how do I remember all these lines? Well, I rehearse them again, and again, and again, and again. Now, you may think this is not important, but the director could be pulling their hair out right now because I just remembered there were five agains and I only said four. So, I rehearsed them again and again and again and again and again. And then I try and do it without the page in front of me. And then I move on to a larger clump. And the word clump is very important because I used to say hunk a lot. Now, you may be thinking, these few little words, they don't have that much of an impact, but I've spent hours on each word. Each word is so important. His last words were so important. And he lay in the street, crowd of people all around him looking up to heaven, and his last words were... I'm sorry.